Hey, what's going on, everybody? Blazer here, coming at you with another Naruto Shinobi collection video. All right, it's the second video for my birthday today, and uh, we're just gonna be a should you summon for this uh, newest banner that came out. Uh, what was it yesterday? Um, off, off the rip, I'm just gonna say no. I don't recommend doing it. That one percent rate you have after three multis is not really that good. Sasuke's back on a banner. Sage Monarto's on a banner. Sakura's on a banner. They also um rainbow framed or not even rain i think oh, did they get a rainbow frame let's see fourth annie naruto sasuke and sakura in 2020 beat that kashi got legendary frames but no rainbow frames okay yep so they just got legendary um panels but they didn't get any rainbow frames so um off rip i don't recommend something on this banner if you missed out on sasuke you really want to try to go in for the kizuna or the duo naruto and sasuke or the Sasuke, then, you know, by all means, but I still would recommend skipping on this banner. The fourth any Naruto's free, Sasuke's whatever. Sakura, if you are going to dupe a character or um, legendary frame a character, it probably would be this Sakura because Naruto's going to be free. Sakura was the best of the uh, Sasuke, the Naruto, and the 2020 birthday Kakashi knows Kakashi is better, but Sakura has more utility and you'll probably get more mileage out of her, especially since um, you'll probably have higher access to her gears. You'll be able to get her gears a lot faster than you will be on um, 2020 B Day Kakashi. I just got the Obito gear, the one with um, the Deer Corpse one that you can put on the um, EX uh, God Slayer Obito. So now I can use Obito to his max capacity. Um, I'm probably going to gold frame him at some point, maybe. That way he'll be, because he'll be really good on a nun type team. And if they ever gave him a legendary frame, that would be fucking OP. But I would recommend duping Sakura. She can, um, her basic attacks crit, her terrain lock, her terrain is a terrain lock. It gives all her allies infinite fucking chakra. Um, so I, I do think she would be, um, worthy of that. She is the better of the Sasuke and the fourth Annie Naruto. And 2020 beat at Kakashi. Uh, it's whatever on that. I'll let you decide on that. But I recommend Sakura. You'll probably have an easier time getting her anyway. Um, so pretty much logging into the event. If you want to just do the logins every day to get the Konohamaru missions to make sure you get all the, um, the legendary proofs and doing all the daily missions from Konohamaru missions. That way you can get the fourth Annie Naruto for free. And then legendary frame him if you want to. Because he is give there are they are gonna give you the free dupes to do it. But also keep in mind because he um his rarity is lower than a uh, seven star, because seven stars weren't even out yet when he came out. Um keep in mind his stats and his increases will be lower than like a base seven star. So if you took like a unit like Kakashi who started off as a seven star, his stat buff will be higher than even Sakura's or Sasuke's or the fourth A Naruto because he was seven star when he came out. But Sakura's the way she works, it, it would be a little bit better on that. Other than that, um Sasuke's on the banner again. So if you wanted I guess if you're a whale and you wanted to go in for dupes of him, that wouldn't be too bad an option. Um I don't know what I want to do on this one because Kadin is supposed to be coming out tomorrow. Or the day after tomorrow. When is she going? I think it's tomorrow. But um, Cotting is supposed to be coming out. And just when I said they don't make any units for Sasuke's Heavy or Taka team, they make Cotting. Cotting seems to be the most they make. They don't even make Jugo Sugetsu like that. They make Cotting and Sasuke the most. Like last year, or two years ago rather, when they made the version 1 God Killer Sasuke, they made a Cotting that came out right around the time he came out. And I think they were supposed to go together, but I never used them together. I think I pulled the Cotting way leather anyway. So depending on how good this Kadeen is, this Origin Kadeen, I may um, pull her and put her on a team with Sasuke. I don't know what she does yet. The translations aren't out yet. But when she gets the translations, I will undoubtedly um, let you guys know about that one. Um, I have 26 tags in the shop also. So I'm thinking about just um, trading for her in the shop if I don't pull her pretty quickly. I Hopefully I do because I'm not trying to go in super deep on a banner. I got about like 100 stones right now because of the... Um, the stones i bought and then they gave us free stones from the retweet wards by the way if you haven't got your retweet wards yet check your box you have 50 stones in there plus some ramen and some double drops you know the usual um so i'm gonna go on ahead and um see if, how good she is if she's trash i'll just skip her i ain't gonna worry too much about her but if she's good and she'll work good with that sasuke then um i'll do it um speaking of which codding what could we say codding even does yeah, she is coming out tomorrow. So, Kadeem, what does she usually do? Let's see. If she in a database, did she get taken out? Or is she in the other one? Let me see something. I'm curious. Because Kadeem, what could she do? Because would she be like a healer? Or would she be like, I guess she would just be a healer. Because Kadeem doesn't do shit else besides heal. So, I guess she could be like a monstrous healer you could put on the team. With Sasuke and keep him alive. Um, let's see. Is she even in here? Nope, she isn't in here. Nope. 
because they don't really make cottings like that, so it makes sense that she's like nowhere to be found in this fucking database. You would have to go digging deep for cottings. Yep, she's not in here. You would have to be digging deep. She's probably on the JP side, but I don't like. Well, let's see. Let's check. No, because then I gotta type it in Japanese. I have no idea what the fuck it is in Japanese. I ain't gonna worry about it. Cottings coming out tomorrow, so get excited for that. Um. I'm just going to assume she's going to be a healer that's going to work really good with Sasuke. Um, I don't, like, I'm pretty sure she'll do what uh, most Kaidens does. Maybe she'll put Sasuke in some kind of protection state. Uh, maybe she'll buff Sasuke. Maybe she'll only heal Sasuke, which is good because you can put Sakura on the team. And uh, God leads Sakura. And then um, she gets a speed buff. She Well, she gets her, you see them. You guys should know them when I showcased her. Um, part of her ability on her kunai activates when Sasuke is on the team. So um, that'll actually be good too. So you have two healers. One can revive. One can just uh, do whatever Kadi is going to do. Maybe put you in some kind of protection state. Maybe um, buff Sasuke is some monster, some mount. So Sasuke can put both his hoes on there. That's why I like Sasuke. Sasuke got hoes. He got Sakura. He got Kadi. Sasuke got hoes. So you can put Sasuke and Kadi on there. I mean, Sasuke and Kadi, but Sakura and Kadi. And see how well they could work together in that last slot. I wish I kind of, I wish I do did have that Sage Mode Naruto because he is the best Naruto out right now because he doesn't rely on anything and he has a lot of immunities on them like uh, like um, um, Hinata. I I, I I I like upon further inspection, I regret telling people to skip him, but he wasn't like horrible as to why I used to skip him. He just it didn't seem like he had any redeeming qualities. But then looking at him in action and watching and having a fight up against him in PvP. And other stuff like that. I'm like, no, this this Sage Mode Naruto is pretty fucking good. He actually is he actually is pretty fucking good. I regret telling people to not summon on him. But then again, this is what it is. You'll probably pull him at some later point anyway, because there are a lot of better units that are gonna come out the pipe. Also, I wanna remind you guys for the millionth time. For the millionth time, I know I've reminded you a lot. For the millionth fucking time, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna keep reminding you until the day comes. Save your stones if you're free to play. Save your stones probably in general, especially if you're more of a uh, apprehensive to uh, buy stones anyway. Save your stones because anniversary is going to be here. Um, I want to say April 30th. That's probably when the banners are going to drop. We'll probably get more info on them before then. And the reason I say that is because last year's anniversary, I went back and checked. I'm just going to type anniversary and across on the channel and see um, what comes up. Oh, no, I spelled that shit wrong. No, I didn't. I spelled it right. What's wrong with me? Yep. Oh my gosh. Just fucking. Why is it like so stupid right now? I'm typing this shit in and like it's not registering my clickbait. There it go. Oh my fucking fuck, bitch. Okay, there it go. Alright, um, the Sasha was the 5.5. That was the 5.5. This was the iOS anniversary. See, iOS anniversary announced July 24th. So the end of July is when the um, iOS anniversary will be here. And then the Android I anniversary is uh, coming first because the Android version came out for this game before the I iOS anniversary. So iOS anniversary is the end of July, and then the Android anniversary is the end of, um, like, April, I think. Yeah, see, fifth anniversary, here it is, free anniversary updates, April 25th, 2020. So I want to say April 30th is when a banner is going to be here for the um, Android anniversary. And then July 30th is probably when the iOS anniversary banner will be here. So save your stones for that. Um, in the fourth anniversary for the iOS version, July 31st. Yep, so July 30th is iOS anniversary and April 30th. And then here it is, fourth anniversary again, April 30th, 2019. So yeah, April 30th, Android anniversary, July 30th, um, iOS anniversary. Keep that in mind. Um, we'll get the leaks probably, like I said, we got the leaks five days, like two years ago, we got the leaks like five days or prior to, so in that week, expect some, um, some info on that, uh, like some more iOS anniversary, July 25th, and then again right here, this was like in May, that's when I just made it late, but I got the info right here, Hype Summons for Kaguya, April 30th, and then the third anniversary, April 27th. How far back have I been doing anniversary summons? This oh, this we're about to be in a sixth year. I've been doing this shit since the third year. Let's see how far back I go. I only go back as far as the third year. That's when I started making videos. Cause I started making them like at the um, end of 2017. So we had just got done with the second anniversary. Okay. All right, bam. So yeah, anniversary. Once again, for those of you 
who probably missed it the millionth time. Let me let me do it again for those in the back. Android anniversary, April 30th. iOS anniversary, July 30th. Android anniversary, once again, one last time. Android anniversary, April 30th, which is in like 24 fucking days. So what's that, like three weeks and, some, and a couple of days? You might want to save. Especially factor in we may get another um, banner that drops where people say summon on it or retweet on it. And then they give us another free 50 stones. Also, make sure you guys get your tags in order. That way, when um, the month of May rolls around, we'll be able to get 45 free stones out of the out of their um, the shop. Make sure your um, your 3v3 is in order. That way, we go to 3v3. You can trade for the tickets in 3v3. Get your 15 stones out of there. Make sure you stay up on your missions. That way, you get your stones out of there. Make sure you do your dailies and weeklies. That way, you make sure you get your stones out of there. I do have a uh, mission tab. I do have a video up in my um, Shinobi Collection guides playlist. It's in the description box below. Always check the description box. And then, um, well, uh, you can check that. You can see um, how to do the dailies and the weeklies and stuff like that. I think they actually made the weeklies easier for some reason. I think they just reduced the amount of shit we have to do. Um, and then other than that, anything else I want to go over? Oh, yeah, and the rules. I updated the rules. I'm going to be updating the rules a little bit um, just to help out a little bit with stuff like that. Like, check for, like, uh, frequently asked questions. Always check the pins under the Shinobi Collection, um, uh, I guess you say channel, rather. What or, or category, whichever one you want to call it, the Shinobi Collection right here. Always check the uh, pins under the general and the translations, the tier list, and the guides, and the news and stuff like that for frequently asked questions. If you have, if they like, you ask a question and somebody hasn't answered in a long ass time, it's probably because it's in the pins or some shit like that. So always check the pins and stuff like that. I'm gonna be updating it a little bit more than this. I'll probably put a banner up and everything, and then maybe I'll make it so when you click the invite, you have to come straight to the rules if you haven't already. That way you can look at this shit. And then you gotta like maybe click a like a, a like um a, a like or something like that. That way you see the show that you've read it and you know. That way you don't just come right past the rules and go back asking questions we've asked a million times. And once again, if you want to see it in like a video form, check the Shinobi Collection guys playlist in the description box below. That way you um can know what's going on there. But other than that, that's gonna be it for this video right here, guys. You guys like this video? You want to see more? Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that bullshit. This me, your boy Blazehood. Peace out.